as the show has already started. Someone felt inclined to park in line for the ramp while they unloaded their stuff. Which is a big no-no. Lots of idiots do it all the time though. What you do is you pull off to the side of the ramp so other people who are ready can drive through and back their boat in. Not park where no one can get through and everyone has to wait on you. Don't be that guy. Of course, it ain't any better than the ramp itself. People are just parked there. Now some dude standing in the middle of the ramp. Freaking get down on boat ramp, people. <laughs> Back and go. This has been a crazy morning so far, and we haven't even left the dock. Snapper season on a Saturday, so naturally, um, a lot of people at the boat ramp, and a lot of people haven't learned the proper etiquette. Like, parking in the boat ramp, standing in the boat ramp. Some dude is standing there. I'm like, dude. Uh, no one seems to know what they're doing. It's probably going to be a little bit of a rough day, but I don't think it'll be as rough as it was at the boat ramp, so we should be alright going forward. But anyways, hopefully it'll be nice. There's definitely no shortage of snapper. Um, I'd encourage everyone to reach out to their different representatives and the people who work at the South Atlantic Marine Fishery. Um, kind of help educate them because they don't really have a clue, I don't think. <clears throat> But enough of that, come on, let's go fishing. We got my dad, Kayla, myself, Tim, Talon, and Lori. So, um, should be a good day of fishing. We uh, generally know what we're doing. See if we can catch some bait, get out there, get our fish, and get back and get away from these crowds. Jeremy, they work to our left, right here. I think that's all I need today. <laughs> Alright guys, got some bait. Get ready to catch some snapper. Here at the spot. It's windy, it's rough. Had to go slow. Didn't go out as far as we wanted to, but we're here. It's good, so rough, maybe it won't be super crowded. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Good thing with the Seymour is I can see this ledge and it allows me to get on a spot without being in another boat's way. I'm marking some stuff right there. Could be some fish. How you doing there, Kayla? Uh, you know, on these circle hooks, you love them having them. Yeah. Right. It was a wet ride for those on the bean bag in the back of the boat. Are you pulling off the bottom once it hits a little bit? Yeah. 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 Pretty good. Yeah, we're starting to mark. First fish on on a rough day. Get him, Talon. Keep reeling. I think he's there. Oh, yeah. There he is. Keep reeling. Keep reeling so we can get him in before the shark gets him. Are you ready for it? Are you going to flip him? Or? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Uh, on bigger or save the first one? Keep the first one. Keeps up off the bottom a pretty good ways, guys. Alright guys, got one on the flat line. Alright 
right, guys, caught one snapper. Got my bait down. Had a little bite, but kind of having a hard time anchoring on the spot with this wind. Pretty windy, pretty rough. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big barracuda down there. Finally got him from stealing my bait. Thieves. Vented him. Safely released one. Catch a bigger one, I hope. You know, it's not a very crowded day out here. And this is actually a really big lad. I don't know why this guy needs to get so close. But... Whatever, we're catching fish. There's plenty around for everyone, so it'll be all right. On the ledge, it's not quite as nice of an anchor position as I would like, but we have been catching fish, so that's good. And a lot of times these fish will kind of swim, swim around. I think they move up and down the ledge. I can actually see with Seymour maps. Um, hadn't fished this with Seymour maps before, but my markings actually show a bigger ledge than I realized. So. It's cool to be able to see that, how that ledge runs, allowed me to kind of anchor up on it quickly. And these snapper will go up and down the ledge, so, yeah, you may go a few minutes with no bites, and all of a sudden the school comes through and everyone's hooked up. So just be patient sometimes. Oh, I got Come something. Up well, let's put your line over this way, it's a bigger one. Over to you. One, yeah. Pull your line. Pull it back to the back. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Biggest one yet, but. Yes. I think I'd probably keep him. You bit me. There you go, Kayla. You got it. pogies on that. I doubled up live bait. Kayla's idea. And I caught a fish. Surprisingly, you think double pogies on one hook would get a bigger fish than that. Yeah, that other one ate the double. It's on. That was a good one. Good one. Only been here. 
Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. That might be the big one there, Jeff. Yeah. Watch your toes. Yeah. What is that? Dang it. That was my bait. Uh -oh. His, your bait? <laughs> that was the one, bait. it must have been the one that got away. Because that was my cigar minnow, my dead cigar minnow. Good job. That was funny. I was, uh, literally, I pulled one of these out. Just tried, I wanted to try dead cigar minnows versus live pogies. I put one down. I got bites, but it got off. Got it. And a couple minutes later, Kayla hooks up. When she gets her snapper up, it throws up one of these. I mean, same dead ones that I was using looks just like it. So it's kind of funny. Bit mine, ate it, and moved on to the next one. It was hungry. Oh, man. That's a good one. That is a, a good fish, whatever it is. And he takes back. You know it's good. Maybe my drag's just loose. I feel like the dead cigar though. So one thing, um, I'd had some kind of bigger circle hooks rigged because I thought we'd be going a little further out and be catching bigger fish. So I did scale back down. I think I had a nine aught and went off to a seven aught. Could have probably gone a little bit smaller. But um, I think that helped, you know, having smaller pogies, the smaller hook helped us and the smaller fish helped us to get a better hookup ratio. If you're catching bigger fish, then they're gonna inhale, you know, a big hook, no problem. But if you're losing a lot of fish or not getting the hookups, try scaling down to a smaller hook. All right, guys. Yeah, you ready? Remember, real, real when the fish is not running, okay? I give it a, here you go, I'll give it a second for you. I kind of work around this way. Go that way. That's a weird bite. King, King, you want me to gap it? Yeah. Where's the gap at? Pull his head up. Alright, that's good. Oh. Got a king fish? Yeah. Get it? Oh, okay. That was interesting, man. Are you good? Alright guys, we got our limit of snapper. Went really quick. Um, came in. We were trolling a little out there. It was slow. Came into the, to the beach. Try some king fishing and marked a lot of bait. It took a couple minutes, but bam, finally got a king fish on. So it's a good sign they're still here. All right, guys, we had a great day on the water. Um, rougher than, you know, well, we kind of knew it was going to be rough. Rougher than we hoped it would be this year. Couldn't go as far as we wanted, but uh, we had a great time. We caught a bunch. Um, caught some uh, moderate sized snapper. So we got plenty to get eaten. Um, happy to get out here and get them. Definitely better than some of the years we've had in the past, so we're, we're pretty thankful about that. Caught a kingfish, that was cool. Looks like the typical afternoon storms are building up. Awesome some lightning in that one. There's some rain over there that we just drove through. But uh, we're back, had a great day on the water. Pretty excited, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, learned a few things. If you guys have any questions, just let us know, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.